Acoustics play an integral role in creating happy and healthy workspaces. Do you need to take an acoustic measurement using our RT60 app? Don't sweat it, we'll walk you through it. Let's get started. Make sure all doors and windows are closed and your balloon and phone are ready. If you don't have a phone stand, ask for someone else to hold the phone while you pop the balloon. Make sure that you're both standing at least one and a half meters apart with the microphone on the phone facing away from your body. Click the start button when you open the app for the first time. Next, click start to begin the measurement, but only pop the balloon once you see the text prompt on the screen to do so. As the app listens, remember to be silent before and after popping the balloon. Too much background noise may result in a failed reading. Once the measurement is complete, enter the dimensions of the room. Try to be as accurate as possible. Keeping a laser or tape measure on hand can make calculating the dimensions quicker and easier. The volumetric size of the room will be calculated. Push the green bar to confirm the dimensions. The line you now see on the graph is an indication of how long sound waves are reverberating in the space at each of the different frequencies, from low to high. An ideal reverberation time should see the values from 250 to 4000 Hz falling beneath the top horizontal line. The space between the two horizontal lines represents the ideal target reverb time. Now let's add some Buzzy Space products into the room to reduce the reverb time to within our target range. Once all your products have been added, a second line will appear on your graph. This indicates the anticipated reverberation time after the inclusion of the products you have selected. Ideally, you should keep adding products until all the values from 250 to 4000 Hz fall beneath the upper black horizontal line. If you're struggling with lowering the reverb for frequencies around 250 or 500 Hz, try selecting thicker products as these offer better absorption on lower frequencies. When you're satisfied, make sure you save the measurement. Congratulations, you've just taken an acoustic measurement for your space. You can easily share the results by email and access the measurement at a later date in case you want to change the product selection. If you need more assistance, don't hesitate to reach out.